Hey, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? All right. So, last night I was playing around on Craigslist and I stumbled across um, someone selling some aluminum boats. And I was reading about them and I saw the word Sea King and I said, oh shoot, I know what that is. So I called them first thing this morning and I have an appointment tomorrow at 11 to go look at it. So what a Sea King is, it's an aluminum boat that Montgomery Wards put out in the 50s. And I was hoping it would be around a 55 or 56 and it happens to be a 56. So I have the matching motor for it. This little motor right there. It's a 10 horsepower Johnson Seahorse, completely restored and it's got the original tank. So this boat does not come with a trailer, unfortunately. So um, I remembered I do have an old boat trailer. I have a field next to me that I park old stuff in, you know, and I have an old boat trailer out there. The weeds are growing through it. I think it's from the late 50s, it's curved. Or trailer, see it? And you know what that stuff is of all things? It's called stinging nettles. And if you know what stinging nettles are, when you barely touch them, they uh, really get you good. So anyways, I gotta figure out, I gotta lift this thing up onto my hitch right here. And I'm gonna just kinda like pull it out of the ground so we can put that seeking on here tomorrow. I think it's gonna fit this is a little big i know this is probably for a 14 to 16 foot boat and this boat i'm getting hopefully is only a 12 footer but i think i can just tie it down really good well i wanted to show you the boat i went ahead and i picked it up it's a lot smaller than i thought as a matter of fact if you look it's not even resting in the on the boards it's just kind of like fell in between the boards but it can't go anywhere so it's a 1956 Sea King, okay? And there's our tag. It's rated for an eight horsepower motor, but we're gonna put a 10 on it, but it's an old 10 and it, it, it should be okay. So there it is. I just wanted to show you. It has mahogany seats, which I'm probably gonna redo and just, you know, clean them up and stain them real nice. And it really hasn't been used much. The guy said it was sitting for 40 years. It hardly has, it doesn't even have any scratches on the bottom. It's never been beached. So a couple repairs to do right here. See this? We're going to have to squeeze that together. And there's this aluminum stuff you can seal it with. Um, I seen it at the, at the Marine store right here too. Right there, we're going to pinch that back together. And then we're gonna seal it up real nice with some uh, aluminum melt stuff they got. It's like a meld. Okay, well there it is. And that little motor's gonna sit right on the back. So I'm gonna take this back. I just wanted to pull over real quick and just check it out, make sure everything was still nice and sturdy. These tail lights are all broken. Uh, we're just using the uh, magnetic ones for now. So this old frame, it's curved. This frame is for my 1958 Glastron. Uh, I bought this a couple years ago for the Glastron. I just haven't worked on it yet. So I am a fisherman and I'm, I'll admit it, but I'm a lake fisherman. I don't really, I, you know, I did the ocean fishing thing. It, it was fun. I like it, but I absolutely love lake fishing. So this is the ultimate lake boat. It's only 11 and a half feet long. So with that little motor hanging off the back, this thing's going to be able to get anywhere. Look at that. It's very small. So uh, 
thanks for watching this episode. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot work on it right now. I'm gonna go push it aside and cover it up because we're in scamp mode right now. So everybody, thank you so much. Leave a comment. Take care. Thank you.